also for younger children if you are under uh, seven. Because like who who is the name of Prince William's son? George. It's, yes. it's George, isn't it? Prince George. Yeah. He usually wear short pants, right? I think that you know, if you are looking for the the typical or the normal one mm -hmm. that we wear, you should not look at the royal family. <laughs> They are very different. They are They're so different traditional. Person. They really got the very old fashioned clothes, the very old fashioned style. Yes, that's true. Yeah. It's okay. a little bit different to the normal school. <laughs> okay, let's continue to the next question. Zia Aziza. Please, Zia Aziza, you may ask the question. Hello. On your camera, Zia Aziza. Hey, Zia Aziza. Hello, my name is Zia Aziza. Uh, I want to ask, do you talk Indonesia in Indonesia? Bisa sedikit. <laughs> saya pakai bahasa Indonesia. Kalau saya mau pesan pesan makanan atau saya mau naik taksi, saya pakai bahasa. But my bahasa is not too good, not too formal. Saya sedikit khawatir karena saya belajar bahasa Indonesia dari Gojek. <laughs> Makanya saya tidak terlalu pede. Saya tidak pede itu kalau saya ngomong benar atau salah. Terus saya malu pakai bahasa. <laughs> Your bahasa is very good, Jason. Thank you, Sofia. You baik sekali. Yeah. Thank you, Zia Aziza. Okay, now next, Russia. Please, Russia, you may ask the question. Hello, Mister. I'm Rasha Atela Rasha Alfatoni from 7D. I want to ask about how students in UK going to school using public transportation or school bus or private car. Ooh, that's a good question. I think most, it probably depends upon your age and your distance to the school. Normally, the system in our, in London is that which school you go to is the one that is closest to your house. So sometimes you should be able to walk. But maybe if you are under 12, then your parents would have to take you or you would take a school bus. I think the answer, Rasha, is there is a mix of uh, different... Some people, if you go to like the school is expensive and that you have to pay, then you would take a bus. Public transport is okay, but maybe only when you are 14. Maybe it's a not, it might be a bit dangerous for younger children. Is there any Gojek in England or Grab? Something like Gojek or Grab? We have Uber. Uber? Yeah, we have Uber, but not for motorbikes. Mm, for only motorbikes, car, yeah? Only for cars, yeah. Motorcycles are not very popular. We have motorcycles, we do have them, but they are a very small percentage. Very small percentage. And definitely not for taking a passenger. Only... The insurance would be very, very hard. Oh, the insurance will be very expensive or? Yeah, yeah. I don't think they would be allowed to do that because if there was an accident, I don't know. Okay, thank you, Raisha. Okay, next, Ezatin Saleha, you may ask question. Please turn on your mic. Hello, my name is Ezatin Saleha. I want to ask, what food do you like in Indonesia? Which yes, food do I like please? in Indonesia? Mm -hmm. And uh, what food you like in Indonesia? What food you like in Indonesia, Mr. Joseph? I like nasi uduk, nasi goreng, nasi padang, nasi kuning. I like okay. soto. I like topanjar. It's my favorite soto, obviously. I like, oh, oh, I like Indonesian fruit. In England, we do not have nice mangoes or nice pineapple. And we do not have nice papaya, so that is nice. I like all Indonesian food. Very I remember, delicious. I remember you serve papaya with lime. Yeah, with a little bit of lime on top, it's delicious. 
Let's go to a shop for me. Really? Yeah. That's the first time in my life. I try papaya with lime. It makes it more delicious, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, different but preference. We, it is exciting to move yeah. to Indonesia because in the UK, we do not have Indonesian food. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of food from um, Thailand, from India, maybe Chinese food, but Indonesian food, we do not have much. So when I came here, it was so exciting. I still love the wateg. Wateg is my favorite. I like jengkol. <laughs> jengkol and pete is very delicious. <laughs> jengkol pete. I Mungkin like jengkol and pete. If, if you want to try, guys, kalau kalian mau coba ya, uh, ada resep dari Mr. Joseph, hmm. itu pineapple, kalian bisa campur dengan jeruk nipis, itu... Papaya, not papaya, pineapple. Papaya, sorry, not pineapple. Papaya, sorry. Papaya with the lime, ya. Yeah. Papaya with the lime. I think it's nice. I think it's nice. A little bit of lime on top. It's mm -hmm. That is like sweet, Fresh. sour sensation. Yeah, yeah, like sweet and sour, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I see, I see. Okay, next question. Uh, Ahmad, please. Ahmad? Ahmad. Hello, my name is Ahmad. I'm from 7E. And I have a question. What do you think about Indonesia? Oh, good question. I really, I have been here for a long time. I really love Indonesia. I think the people are so friendly. Wherever I go, I can say hello and make friends with people. Also, for me, Indonesia is very exciting because it is so different to the UK. So, before coronavirus came, I used to love traveling. The, the sea in Indonesia is so beautiful. In England, we do not have palm trees. We do not have nice beaches. We do not have those beautiful mountains like in Indonesia. I think Indonesia is a very beautiful country. The people are friendly and the food is delicious. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's... A uh, very good question. Okay, next Ijat. Ijat tries so many times to ask the question. Okay, I will give a change. <laughs> Ijat, please. Where is Ijat? Yes. Yes, please, Ijat. Hello, my name is Ijat. Do you like traditional dance? And what do you offer? What's a traditional dance performance? Do you mean the traditional dance in England or in Europe? In Europe or in Indonesia, Ijat? When I was a child, my grandmother taught me how to waltz. I don't know, it's like ballroom dance? Waltz. Yeah, I see. When the people wear tuxedo. They wear the traditional clothes. Oh. Do you want me to show you a video? Uh, yes, you can show it for them. Let's see if I can find one on YouTube easily. Jadi di England itu mereka seperti Indonesia, they have traditional dance ya, namanya katanya waltz. Bukan waltz ya, waltz itu, ah, that's, that's. I don't know if this comes originally from England or if it's originally from Germany, but it's the same. Ah, like this. Okay, where is my <laughs> No, not Grammarly. After 30 days, uh, I could not believe my before and after picture. I literally rolled back the This is a bit additional dancing. And now Please join me in welcoming back the opening committee. We will perform the opening waltz to Kunstlerleben, also known as Artist's Life, by Johann Strauss Jr. Should we skip, skip, skip?
that enough? I think that you can get the idea from that. Yeah, maybe like this student uh, quite familiar, especially for the girls who really like to watch Walt Disney movie, Princess mm. movie, they will so uh, quite similar dance, yeah? Yeah, similar. Mm -hmm. That's like the princes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now should we move to the next question? Uh, Farel Idan Fauzi, please, you may ask the question. Farel. Hello, my name is Muhammad Farel, 7D. I want to ask with you, where do you think the beautiful area in Indonesia? Mm, the most beautiful area. Mm. The most beautiful place has to be oh. Banjarmasin. <laughs> I don't know. I have traveled to many places um, in Indonesia, but Kalimantan is very beautiful. Sulawesi is beautiful. Java is beautiful. I have never been to Sumatra. I should go to Sumatra. So many beautiful places. Go back home. Banjarmasin is your second home. Yeah, my uh, kampung ke Banjarmasin. Yeah. <laughs> kampung halaman kedua Mr. Joseph itu Banjarmasin ya. <laughs> <laughs> Oke, okay. next Ahmad Rida. Please, may ask the question, Ahmad Rida. Hello, my name is Ahmad Rida. How can we improve skills in English? Oh, very good question. If you want to improve your English, the most important thing is to practice. I know that this, there is no shortcut. There is no substitute for practice. I think normally, you guys sound really good. I can understand your questions very easily. You must have a very good teacher. I think it's important to practice regularly. You do not have to practice for a long time. One hour is very, is too long maybe just 10 or 15 minutes but you should do it every day maybe 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes in the evening to do it regularly is more important i think the hardest challenge for you reader is to practice speaking there is so much opportunity for you to practice listening or to practice reading there is it's very easy the hardest challenge is to practice speaking. But it seems like you have a lot of friends who want to study English. You have a good teacher to help you. So just try to make as much effort as possible to practice whenever you can. I think it's important that you try to enjoy it. <laughs> if you find it very stressful, maybe it will be difficult to push yourself. So try and find a way that you will find make it fun. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, Good luck, Mr. Rida. Semangat. Semangat, Rida. Okay. Maybe the biggest problem for the students also for almost all the Indonesian to learn English is the anxiety to make a mistake, mm. especially for the grammar. What do you think about it? I, don't, I think that do not worry about making a mistake. I think then too much focus too much focus on grammar. If, I, if you say to me, if you say to me, I go to the shop yesterday, I understand. You should say I went if you want to be grammatically correct, but I can understand. The most important thing is that you can communicate, that you can communicate well. And for your speaking, you do not need to worry about being, having perfect grammar. Yes. Girl. Okay, yeah, because I, I, when I ask the student to speak in English, they always say, oh, takut salah, takut salah, something like that. But actually, I never beat them if they make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> never do anything, you know, if they make a mistake. Guys, okay. I don't think that making a mistake is, is how does how to make mistakes? You have to make mistakes to improve. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Najwa, do you want to ask a question? Najwa Amalia, do you want to ask a question? Okay, please. 
<laughs> Hello, my name is Nazwa Malia. I want to ask a question to you. Are there any other accent used besides British accent in UK? Thank you. Very good question. Uh, yeah, Nazwa, we have so many accents in England. The British accent is only a very small amount of people speak that way. Maybe you will hear the Queen who will speak with that very British accent and she talks very politely like Harry Potter. But if you go to England, people have many accents. So it depends on the city. There is a big divide between the north of England and the south of England. So, for example, I am from London, which is in the south. So when I pronounce the letter A, I pronounce it like this. Ah, so I say laugh and take a bath. I say you can't. But um, if you hear someone from the north of England, they pronounce it like this. Laugh. Laugh. And you can't. You can't go there. You can't. It's different. So some accents are very difficult. If you go to Newcastle, they have a very strong accent. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, I think it's not very different to Indonesia. If you go to England, one city to the next city, so difficult <laughs> to understand. But everybody can understand each other. Okay. Yeah. So in North, they speak a little bit like French. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay. More question for another student. Maybe for the last question, for you who has an also question yang belum sempat bertanya, mau bertanya, please. Let me check uh, the other ones. No? Okay. Uh, okay, maybe Fat, uh, Muhammad Musin. Muhammad Musin want to ask a question, please. Okay. Muhammad Musin. Musin. Musin, where are you, Musin? Bentar, bentar, bentar. Pakai bahasa Inggris kan? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> my name is Okay. My name is Muhsin. I hey, want Muhsin. to ask you about what is your favorite subject in school? Mm. Ooh, I my favorite subject was English. But in English we reading books. I like reading books. I'm a big fan of reading. I like stories. I like poetry, and at school we studied a lot of theatre. What is that? Theatre, you know, like drama, like plays. Mm -hmm. So, like Shakespeare or people like that. Oh yeah, I see, I see, I see. No. Theatre is a big part of British culture. Yes. But I liked English, it was my favourite. I was not good at maths. I found maths very difficult. I was not good at chemistry. Chemistry, ah, I still, until now, I cannot understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Dafa Rifki. Maybe Dafa Rifki uh, will be the last okay. student to ask the question. Mr. Joseph, can you please prepare one or two questions to be asked for the students? Like for, uh, I, I will give them prize for the one who can answer your question later. Okay. Okay, please, Dafa Rifki, what is your question? Hello, my name is Muhammad Dafa Rifki Fadila mm -hmm. from 7D. What is your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie is a good question. I really like Disney films. I think my favorite Disney movie is Jungle Book. Jungle Book was the film that I, it's probably the movie I have watched the most times. I've probably watched it a thousand times by now. I have a plan to show them the the Jungle Book next time. Oh yeah, month. it's good. Yes. good movie. I really like it. Mowgli, Mowgli. Yeah. The songs that's are also, good, yeah. Yes, that's also one of But I like the old one. I like the old one. I don't like mm -hmm. the remake. Oh, they would like the remake, guys. Yes, I know. Okay. Now, uh, we will... Uh, oh, wait a moment. Okay. Now, I, Mr. Joseph will ask question for you guys, for you who can answer the question. 
please raise your hand, okay? And then when I mention your name, no, do not raise your hand right now, later after he asked the question, okay? Please, Mr. Joseph, what is the question? Hi, guys. Can you please tell me about your hometown? Your hometown. Okay, yeah. Zia Aziza, please. Okay. Zia. My name is Zia Aziza. Uh, about my hometown. Um, yeah, my hometown is called 1000 River. Uh, we have the biggest mosque. Um, what again? Mm, I don't know. The animal, well, famous animal, famous animal. Famous animal, uh, Bekantan. Wow. That's all? City yeah, I, I guess it's all. The biggest yeah. mosque and your own animal. Wow, that's really okay. cool. Okay, maybe we can let one more student to answer, Mr. Joseph? Yeah, please. Okay, the other. Almer, please. Tell us about your hometown. Oh, okay. You mean Banjarmasin? You mean Banjarmasin? Banjarmasin is good, yeah? Oh, okay. So, uh, in Banjarmasin, uh, the people speak Banjarish, right? Yeah, and then uh, mm, <clears throat> there's a ton of rivers, 1,000 rivers, yeah, there's 1,000 rivers, and then uh, there's also traditional clothes, there are traditional dances too, and uh, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I, I have a, I have a um, Sasirangan, I have one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I remember okay. Sasirangan, yeah, that I remember. Okay. Bahasa, ba Bahasa Banjar is Ikam. That's the only word I could remember, right? Ikam means you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. That's the only one word I can remember. How about Bungas? Do you remember Bungas? Pretty, what? pretty, Bungas. Oh, yeah, Bungas. Yes, okay. One more question maybe, Mr. Joseph? Okay, okay. You would like me to ask a question yes, again? Yes, yes. The last one question. It can be about anything. Where would you most like to go in the world? If I could give you a golden ticket to travel mm -hmm. anywhere in the world, where would you like to go? Okay. Who will answer? Let me see. Ahmad, please. My name is Ahmad and I want to go to Japan. And why do you want to go to Japan, Ahmad? I don't know. I just want to go to Japan. <laughs> it's an interesting country. Interesting. Mm. Good answer. Country. Guys, thank you so much for today. It is lovely yeah. to meet you all. Thank you for having me, Sophie. Thank you so much for <laughs> joining us, Mr. Joseph. Thank uh, you, guys. This is an amazing hour with you. I hope this student can learn many things. Okay, guys, say thank you to Mr. Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so thank you, much. Mr. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank Good you. luck studying thank English. Yes, yeah. semangat, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you very much for all the students. Jangan keluar dulu, Ustazah akan membagikan link untuk mengisi attendance list sebentar. Kalau melihat di grup sudah ada ya, ada yang sudah membuka di grup untuk linknya. Ya, untuk linknya Ustazah bagikan di chat ya. Ini linknya. Bentar, to everyone. Oke, okay, ini linknya. Bisa kalian lihat ya. Linknya dan passwordnya adalah kelas 2020. C-nya pakai huruf besar ya. Passwordnya bisa dicatat. C-L-A-S-S 2020. Kelas 2020. Kelas 2020. C depannya pakai huruf besar ya. Ini linknya, linknya yang itu tinggal diklik nanti 
Kemudian untuk membuka passwordnya adalah kelas 2020. C pakai huruf besar. Oke okay, guys, thank you very much. I'm so happy because you guys are so active. You guys a good participant for today class. Semoga per, uh, kegiatan hari ini bisa membangkitkan semangat kalian untuk belajar bahasa Inggris. Do not give up. Keep practicing your English because it's okay to make a mistake. It's part of learning ya, bagian dari belajar. Oke, okay? thanks for your attention. Ada pertanyaan dulu sebelum kita tutup kelasnya? Do you have any questions? No? Alright, since you have no question, mari kita tutup pembelajaran hari ini dengan membacakan istighfar. Astagfirullahaladzim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin dan doa kafaratul majlis subhanakallahumma wabihamdika ashadu alla ilaha illa anta astagfiruka wa atubu ilaih. Thanks for join. Bye everyone. Bye. Jangan Thank lupa you. diisi ya uh, daftar hadirnya. See you guys. And also I would like to say thank you very much. Terima kasih kepada Ustadz Ustazah yang juga sudah bergabung pada hari ini. Uh, Mudah-mudahan kegiatan hari ini dapat membawa manfaat untuk kita semua Amin, Ya Rabbal Alamin You may leave the class Kalian boleh keluar dari uh, Kalian boleh meninggalkan Zoom Room-nya Assalamualaikum Waalaikumsalam Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, Rida Waalaikumsalam, Waalaikumsalam Naila Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. 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 Nazib. Goodbye everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. 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 Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh